Hello guys, welcome back to another weekly, vlo weekly vlog. Um, so I actually did a Selfridges parcel, no, a Selfridges order the other day, and I thought I'd open it with you because I went on there to get one thing and I came out with four. So I went on to get um, new foundation, uh, new concealer, or like a top up of my concealer, and then I bought a few bits from Skims, which I've never tried before, and also a Neen Bing, I'm pretty sure. So I thought I'd open it with you and show you what I got. First up, the makeup bits. This is the concealer I use religiously every single day and I've been using it for like over a year now. It's so good from Dior. Um, I'll pop it down below. I'm shade 2W0. And then when I went on to buy that, I saw this foundation, which I used to absolutely love. And I only stopped. I used to, I've, I've like, I had it like four or five times. Like I was a repeat buyer of it. It was so good. I don't know why I stopped. I think I got into like another foundation and I just forgot about it. But I picked this up, which is the same. Is it matching? Yeah, they're both called Forever Skin. This is Forever Skin Glow and this is Forever Skin Correct. And this one's also in the shade 2WO. If I remember correctly, I remember this being like a good foundation for when I haven't like fake tanned. It was a little bit lighter than the one I'm wearing now, which is the Givenchy Prism Libre Matte, which I love. Is it Prism Libre? I don't know. Anyway, I picked them up. Okay, so first of all, I got this t-shirt. I've shared this a few times in my like far-fetch edits. So this is what it looks like. It's a cream oversized, very basic t-shirt, but I just like that little bit of like branding. It does say Bing on the front, but I like that it's like not obviously that. So, I mean, yeah, it's very basic, very simple, but I just thought it would be cute with jeans and like with the trousers I'm wearing now which are like high-waisted <coughs> smart trousers and I was debating between that t-shirt or a skims t-shirt and the skims t-shirt was just like super basic very simple kind of like my AYM studio ones if you guys know what they are um anyway I decided not to get that t-shirt and to get the Anine Bing t-shirt but I still wanted to try something from skims and I kept I keep seeing this dress like all over TikTok all over the internet it's like their classic maxi ribbed very simple dress I have looked at getting it a few times, but it's um, always sold out, but far, uh, Selfridges had it in my size. I think it's my size. I got an extra small. There was extra, extra small and extra small, but this looks like it's going to be fine. It is maxi. It's just a very simple shape. It's spaghetti straps, which are adjustable, which I think is lovely. And then it's kind of like a tube dress, almost. But yeah, it's very simple. I just thought like for summer and for loungewear, like, I'll be cardigan over it, or obviously like on holiday. Um, I just thought it was cute. And I also have an Amazon parcel here. Okay, first up, it's Easter this weekend and I was ordering bits for a roast. And I'm pretty sure we don't have a gravy boat. So I ordered a little gravy boat from Amazon, which by the way, are like the most ugly things ever. I went on like, I tried to go on at like white company and things and find something nicer, but they didn't even have any. And all the ones on Amazon, I, gravy boats are just ugly, aren't they? <laughs> but I thought this one would do the job. So I picked up that. Very, very boring. Then I was gonna buy Biggie an Easter bunny hat, but he wouldn't wear it. So I got him this little carrot toy, which he can have on the weekend. <laughs> Does it squeak? <gasps> we get it on the weekend, honey. It's for Easter. Okay, I'll be right back, someone's at the door. Um, yeah, so my I got a new desk. Do you remember I, was, I showed you guys like when I got my current desk? Um, well, it's a very big lesson in the grass isn't always greener <laughs> because my, and I remember saying in that vlog, like I think I regret doing that, but um, I did regret it because it's a lovely desk, but it's like short. And so if I'm wearing any like nice trousers, like these Marge ones, like the, the underneath of the desk isn't smooth. It's kind of like rough. And so it would like kind of bobble the top of my trousers. Um, so basically I think it was like, it's just for like a teenager or like a child or somebody just a bit shorter. So, um, I have now ordered the desk that I initially had for like the last four years. So like I basically got a new desk, been my, the first one and then rebought the first one, which is so dumb, but lesson learned. So I need to build that and get that sorted today. So this little bruise on my lip, you might see because I got my lips topped up yesterday, which I'm happy about. So they're a little bit bruised because I haven't had them done in a while. But yeah, I went and got them topped up. And also, I told you guys that I had got filler put back in my cheeks, which was absolutely wrong. I thought I had, which I don't even know why I thought that. It was like so wrong. But actually, I'd had them dissolved twice. So I never actually got any more filler put in my cheeks. 
So now they're all completely dissolved, which looks a lot better. But anyway, I will chat to you when my desk is upstairs and we can build that together. <laughs> This is my current desk, which is the one that I replaced this one with. <laughs> and it is lovely, it's just, it's a little bit short, it's a little bit more neat, like a little, tiny bit smaller than the other one. And also this drawer situation is just not working for me. So this is actually, this desk turns into a stand-up desk. So this is a, this isn't a drawer, this is like a fake drawer and this lid like comes up. But my laptop and my computer and everything's always on this part of the desk so it never gets used like as a stand up and it has two little drawers here but they're so not deep and things kind of just fall down the back so the other one this whole section is one single drawer and you actually get loads in it so i'm going to build this it shouldn't take me longer than 40 minutes i'd say tops and then i'm going to do a clear out of like all the drawers in this office because they get stuffed full of things like rubbish and just old documents and just they get so full so quickly so it'll be good to do a little detox of them Okay, the desk is built. We've had a little hiccup with the drawer. There's like a, like the bracket on that side is kind of broken, but Johnny's fixed it, so it does work. Anyway, it looks so much better. So it's a lot wider that way, which I forgot how good that is. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the inside. So this is the big drawer. You do get quite a lot in it, considering it's like not that deep. But I have my notepads here. So my everyday diary, my gratitude journal, and this is like the one I just write my notes like just a scribble pad basically um, and here I have all my lip products this one is Aurelia London it's so good it's a probiotic lip balm um, Coley obviously <laughs> and then I have these really nice um, Summer Fridays ones they have a little bit of tint in them so this is probably my favourite one it's not that pigmented but it does give a nice bit of colour and they're so moisturising and then I also have a little cuddly moisturiser in there as well. I just have all like bits and bobs that I need. I have some nail stuff in there. Some picker when I sit at my desk. And then some hair clips, extra batteries and all that jazz. So that's for my drawer. And then whilst, okay, actually whilst I'm here, first of all, how cute is this clip? I got it on Amazon. Amazon have the best claw clips. If you type in claw clip, <laughs> there's a really good selection of nice ones. Anyway, I did a little clear out in the bathroom. So... In here is all organized now. This was such a mess before. So I've brought up these little um, like plastic trays from my makeup st uh, drawers. Had a few extra, so I've like spaced them all out. So in this one's kind of like your everyday bits, like teeth, uh, contact stuff, um, braces stuff, and then some panty liners. In the middle is like shavers, nose hair trimmer, absolutely essential if you don't have a nose trimmer, no nose hair trimmer get on this honestly it's incredible um and then some loose bubbles and stuff like that this is actually my rodeo collection that i did i always keep it in here and then here is like hair stuff um mouthwash body butters and all that jazz and then i cleared out in here as well and just organized it look how aesthetic that is i love it <laughs> so in here i have face sprays body butters haven't actually tried this one yet, but it smells incredible. And I have the shower stuff, like the shower wash from it. So I need to start using that. These are some new vitamins I'm trying. Honestly, the packaging is what did it for me. And so many of you girls said the same thing on Instagram. But they're basically just multivitamins. And it's like a, is that a four month? Four week supply. And then you just buy the refills to go in these glass jars. So I'm testing them. These are kind of like spot treatments, so this stuff's incredible, you've got to get it prescribed, but if you can, honestly, it's so good for getting rid of any blemishes, any kind of like spots that are coming up, this will get rid of them overnight. And these are some new bits from the Inky List, which I've never actually tried before, but I'm really excited because these sound really good. So this is a blemish treatment, and this one is a 
mandelic acid treatment. Here I have lips, here I have more body butters and hair because that doesn't fit on the top shelf. This is like my everyday baseline skincare routine. But I just lay that out as like its own category, so a lot of Caudalie. Um, I've got some cleansers behind here as well. This is eye creams. I love this one from MZ Skin. Really, really good product. Um, Summer Friday's one, which I'm kind of road testing. This kind of has like a shimmer in it. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I just put it on my hand because that eye cream has a very, very, very slight shimmer. Can you see there? Which I actually think is a really nice addition to an eye like cream. Okay, moving on, moisturizers and SPFs up at this side. So a lot codely, these Elizabeth Origin ones are incredible. I've really loving these recently. Um, I love Dr. Sam as well. That's actually empty, but I need to get top up. Up here is all my serums and my capsules. Again, Elizabeth Arden capsules, I love them. MZ serum, that's a hyaluronic one. Uh, Codely, obviously. My other Codely's are here, because these are the ones I use like daily. But these are all just the serums that I like. This is a load of nip and fab. This serum is also so good. It's so hydrating. It literally hydrates your skin overnight. Um, I'm road testing the other products as well, seeing how we get on. This face mask, incredible, honestly. If you've got dry skin, you have to get it. And then I've got some of my masks here, which is Codely, and I've got a little Summer, summer Fridays one there. And then here is scrubs and more kind of like intense stuff. And then up there <laughs> is some hair stuff. And then up here is more kind of like treatment stuff, I'd say. So like the stuff on the left is pigmentation stuff. And then this new face, I need to charge up my device actually. Okay, my arm just got really sore. <laughs> The new face is like the vibrational device that like tightens your skin. I love it, but I haven't had a charge in a couple weeks, so I need to get back in that. And then I had a little tidy up of these drawers, lol, at my wine glass. That's literally from like two weeks ago. Down here is extra products slash products for friends and family slash giveaways. Um, that's my LED mask. I love it. And extra like travel bags. This is a little bath bag so some neom espa more neom diptyque oil and bamford that's actually all i would ever use on myself in the bath those those brands so neom espa diptyque and bamford are incredible that is my fake tan basket which is literally vile like it's it's literally orange i had to bin another one that was actually orange <laughs> but that holds all my fake tan so it's 99.9% .9 saint tropez and 1% What's this called? Tan Lux. Um, decoration, just to make it look a little bit cute. And then I really could not be asked to do up there. So <laughs> that's where we're at. I was doing a little bit of shopping on Intimiss Me. I was, actually, my mum was doing a bit of shopping on there when I was in Scotland. And I was helping her find some nice loungewear bits. And then I thought, oh, I found a few things I like. I'm going to get them. But I will say that delivery, I think it was like 10 days from the order that it arrived, which is crazy. But anyway, it's here now. So the first outfit I got was this little like kind of straight leg crop trousers and top uh, lounge set. My mum actually bought this and I literally love it. So <laughs> these are just like, so they're like, they're like definitely pajama slash joggy material, but they're creased down the front and then they're like kind of tailored shape. I'll put them on and I'll show you, but I thought they'd be a really lovely, just like for today where I'm sitting doing um, desk work like I'm in a nice top and then like gym leggings like I mean it's fine to wear that but sometimes you just want to feel a little bit more put together so I got that I will say right off the bat this material is beautiful like it's so soft um this is the matching top I'm not sure about that though maybe it's a little bit thick but it'll be nice and cozy and then I got a pair of a set of pajamas because I like a silky set of PJs. I mean, you guys know how much I like pajamas. I actually don't need to buy any more pajamas. <laughs> but I can't help, I actually can't help myself. That's something I need to do this week as well, is to like go through my pajama drawer because it's overflowing. But anyway, I got this little silky top, which I think is gorgeous. It's like sexy, but not slutty. <laughs> So I think Johnny will really appreciate this because every time I come downstairs in a napco like two piece, he's like, you're literally wearing granny pajamas. And I'm like, no, I'm not, they're cute. <laughs> so this is what he wants me to go to bed in. <laughs> so I'm sure he'll be very happy about that. So I got this little top. Um, I actually got this one in a medium because a lot of the tops I'm finding like this are like 
really tight across my chest, especially when I'm like lying down. If you've got like one arm up, one arm down, you like make your rib cage wider and the smalls and extra smalls were just tight across my rib cage. So I got a medium because rather it be too big than too small. And then I got the little matching shorts, which I got in a size small. Just so cute. I really like them. And I mean, they're so simple. I need a little iron. But yeah, I thought they'd be lovely. So um, I'm going to wear them tonight and I'm going to stick on the lounge right now and show you that as well. Okay, here is the little set. I just popped on some earrings because I feel like I put on an app sometimes, even if it's lounge wear, and I'm like, that needs an app, <laughs> that needs a pair of earrings. So I've just popped on some little hoops so you can get the vibe, because it's like smart cash, but I literally feel like I'm in pyjamas, like the actual feeling. So this is the little jumper, it's a roll neck. I mean, it is actually really nice, but I prefer my jumpers to be like skin tight, like the one I was just wearing. Um, but this is really lovely and soft and comfortable. And then these are the trousers, which I think are so nice. That recycling has been sat in my office for literally like three weeks. <laughs> I need to take it down. Anyway, um, I like that they're long and just they're just nice. There's really not much I can say. They've got pockets, they've got a crease in the front, they're full length. Slippers are even new, I showed you them last week. I just think it's really nice. And I think they're a really nice length too. Like either I often have like short trousers, like cropped, or I have like really long. But these are just like these feel like the perfect length. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's really not anything to say about them, but I think they're cute. Good morning, guys. So, it is Easter Sunday. We're out for a little walk in the park in Hyde Park. We've actually come to an area of it that like I've never been to before and it's really nice. Um, I didn't speak to you guys for a few days because lo literally like nothing was going on. <laughs> Yesterday we went out for a nice lunch and today we are doing this and then we're going to head back and cook a nice roast which will be nice and enjoy the last of the sunshine because I think this week's meant to be a little bit like hit or miss with rain and clouds. I just thought I'd check in and say hello and I'll spend the day, I'll take you guys along with me today. I think I might upload this vlog tomorrow morning because I feel like everyone's going to be, I don't know, I feel like I should include the whole day because it's Easter Sunday, but we'll see. Anyway, um, I have this new jumpsuit on that I got from Zara recently, it's so cute. And my little Aneen Bing handbag and just enjoying a nice little shop. Are you having a nice time? <laughs> Thanks, give me back. Guys, this bowl is also from Max Bone. Good boy. All the good stuff from Max Bone. It literally like claps into a flat cylinder so you can clip it onto leaves and stuff. I'll show you once it's finished. Okay, so once you pour it out, just and then you put that onto their leaves. So cute. And then here is his um, bag for the car. <laughs> okay, we have started the Easter Sunday How did feast. you start your Easter Sunday, Nadia? What, what do you have for breakfast? Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate and Red Bull. What is this beef? Uh, this is... Uh, joint of beef? Rib of beef. Rib of beef. And, well, actually, this is uh, a, roll, a rolled rib eye. Okay. Garlic, asparagus, herbs, and then I'm on the um, Yorkshire pudding and gravy and cauliflower cheese duty, but in like half an hour. Yes? Yes. Johnny's on keto. So we weren't allowed, well we were allowed, but he doesn't want to eat any, by the way, my hair is atrocious, it's not washed it in like four days, so ignore it. Um, he doesn't want any potatoes, he doesn't want any Yorkshire pudding, apparently, but he would definitely have one. He doesn't want, I can have one Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, one. I don't care about potatoes. I don't care about Yorkshire puddings. <sighs> Nothing better than a roast today. <laughs> Look at my hair, it's disgusting. Yeah, there is a Yorkshire pudding. I'm mad, Yeah, well, they're pre made because I don't know how you make them. So, anyway, they'll be delicious. <laughs> so, we're having a lovely little kind of roast. It feels really strange to be like having a couple of glasses of wine, bottles of champagne. 
No, exactly. You feel, I feel guilty like doing it, but um, yeah. Nadia is doing what she does. Biggie best. is what doing she does what she does better. Biggie's doing what he does better. Okay, I'll give you all the cooking lessons. This is rolled ribeye. The moment of just searing it. Huh? Oh, you missed it. I had it. Perfectly seared all the way around. We've now seared the one side. Look at that. Get the crisp on that. I don't know though, because for me, a bit of garlic. A roast is when you put it in like a slow cooker. No, it's going, it's going. You don't have a slow cooker. It's going in there. Time always does that. Time always does that. Time always does that. You show yourself. <laughs> ah, yeah, you did. You put this one for me. Excuse me. And not as much beef came out as I thought it would. Beef fat. How does that work? You have to hold it. How do you not know that? I know, but I'm going to fry stuff. <laughs> so, now oh, we're going to baste it. Smells good. It's dry. <laughs> now it's, it can't get dry, it's a ribeye. Do you know the fat that runs through this? Mm. Take those juices and baste it on the top of that. About halfway done. Yeah, I didn't think it would be 20 minutes. I know, I know. Everyone was lying. I think we have a thermometer. Are you hungry? Are you hungry, you little pig? <laughs> <laughs> Asparagus, Nadia bought us only a very little amount. We're still resting over here. We've nailed the temperature. What are you up to, Nadia? What are you on going on over here? Gravy and Yorkshire pudding. Your, your Yorkshire's are rising, honey. I pick, mixed that with all the ingredients. What's the ingredients? Flour. Egg. Egg, salt. <laughs> 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 Guys, look at this. Cauliflower cheese, asparagus, beef, Yorkshire puds. Clean up that is mess. <laughs> yeah, I made a big fat mess of that, but it looks so good. Well done, honey. You did a good job. Rate it then. Excuse me? No, it was fine. I would have leaked it. Oh, yeah, it tasted like you're caught to birth, so. Biggie's not loud enough. No, he's not. Biggie, get down. Off, bud. Get down. It's like a six out of ten. I will literally throw this camera on the floor no, if you but, say that. No, because it didn't taste like a roast. It tasted like your steak that you cook. It didn't taste like a roast. So that's my only thing. Anyway, I am going to finish the vlog here. There's two things that was meant to be in this vlog that I didn't include, and that is a comparison of my play and handbag, handbags, handbags, <laughs> and my skincare routine. But they will be in next week's vlog. So. You What's win that? some, you lose some. What's that? <gasps> Stop it. I'll Look see what that what it is. Does. See what it does. No, that's dangerous, Johnny. You did what? No, that's dangerous, Johnny. <laughs> what do you think he's going to do? Until next right. time. I'm in full nap crew, guys. Um, but yeah, I will see you all in next week's vlog. Actually, I'll see you all on Wednesday for Zara Hall. <laughs>